talked about at the top of the show, oil is plunging today, falling to a six and a half year low. Wide sweeping implications for countless businesses who rely on the commodity to literally fuel their operations. Cheaper oil means cheaper travel. And my next guest is benefiting from the plunge. He's Tom Parsons. He's the CEO of the travel website, bestfares.com. On the flip side, we're also joined here in New York by one person who wants to cut ties to big oil, making a bet on green energy, Dennis Gallagher. He's the CEO of Student Transportation. Gentlemen, thank you both. You're both in the oil game. Tom, I'm going to start with you. Are we just now starting to see the airlines cut fares based on cheaper oil? Well, we're also going at the end of family travel now, fall season, airfares go down. But if I walked in the airlines last year and said, give me $82 round trip airfares from Dallas to New York, L.A., Boston, they would have probably laughed for a few minutes and then kicked me out of their office. But that's what we're finding. Uh, and you've got to look at Southwest, you've got to look at American, you look at Delta, United. But we're seeing right now, even out of Dallas, 15 different cities, you can fly for under $100. And it's not short-haul flights. It's, it's anything from Fort Lauderdale, as I said, New York or Chicago or Los Angeles. And that's just some darn cheap airfares. Even right. Chicago is very cheap right now. New York, 82 bucks, and un- Tom- under $100. Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. We haven't seen fares this cheap in a long, long time. And you mentioned the timing, too. The second half of the month of August is a really good time to buy tickets. I know that from my, uh, my old airline days. You know, Dennis, on the flip side, you know, you, have a, you, you do school buses, you manufacture school buses, but these are propane-fueled. You're trying to get, you know, school systems across the country in North America, say Canadian, um, away from propane. But isn't that a tough sell now? With the fact that oil is so cheap and, and, you know, school districts don't have a lot of cash. Yeah, first of all, we operate the school buses. We're not the manufacturer. Bluebird is our manufacturer, which is uh, just actually a public company also. Mm -hmm. So we operate 14,000 school vehicles around North America. We were using diesel for, uh, you know, many, many years. We switched and started to switch 25% of the fleet to propane because young millennial moms today actually like 60% less carbon monoxide in and around our schools. So it is something that's really popular and on demand. Man. We are seeing the price of diesel drop fast, and literally we use about 15, 16 million gallons of diesel a year, so we're very happy to see it be dropping. So you're not worried about oil prices getting this low, because we're seeing a lot of uh, Americans, anyway, going out and buying gas guzzlers, because they think it's, well, gas is cheap. It's cash in our pocket when we see oil going this low, so it's actually a huge savings for us. Our fuel cost is going from 8.8% down to 6%, so that's a huge, uh, you know, that's going to help our margin improvement. You know, well. it's interesting, by the way, you were telling me the break that your stock is actually higher today. I think that's, we're one of the only stocks um, up today. So. You're on the NASDAQ and you're actually trading higher. So that's something to, to celebrate. Hey, Tom, really quick, let's talk about the rest of the year because a lot of Americans are going out there right now. They're looking because we've, we've gotten so used to these higher prices for airfare. We've been gouged for the last couple of years. Should we be shopping yep. for our holiday tickets now or do you recommend oh. that we wait? Well, I think you need to because uh, we have what we call snooze you lose. And some of these airlines are acting so fast, uh, you probably will find deals for Thanksgiving, especially the Europe uh, and the Asia, places like that for, for Thanksgiving. Uh, Christmas, start looking now too. Spring break 2000, for example, uh, I mean, I live in Dallas. We got today Dallas and Charlotte and Miami and Phoenix to Honolulu, not, not to Honolulu, but Maui, Kona. Not only is it $529, which is about 300 bucks off, but it's good for Thanksgiving. It's good for spring break 2016. You can be, you should be planning this. And, and here's what I'd say. If you see a fare that cheap to Hawaii, get your credit card out and just say, book just me it. Dano. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> book me Dano. Cute, cute. And Tom, you are wearing, again, one of my favorite Hawaiian shirts. You always surprise me with a new one every time I see you. Dennis, I do want to oh. end with you, and, and I'm sorry we, we're almost out of time. But we've got this market sell-off today. Uh, but the future, do you think that you're going to see more penetration into school districts, especially in the U.S. with these with these school buses? Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the contract is a $24 billion industry. 66% is still owned by the governments. More and more are seeing that they need to get out of that. The cost of capital, the cost of trying to do uh, manage the fuel costs, the labor costs, things like that. So that's what we're really good at. And, you know, this is my 40th year in the business. So, I mean, I, I certainly something we know well. Green buses, like again, I have to say, um, you know, and they also, they've got GPS tracking digital camera surveillance systems. A lot of parents I know like the buses. Um, Again, your stock is up today. Can't argue with that. Dennis Gallagher, Tom Parsons. Guys, thank you very much.